Greetings, everybody. This is Adam Rafferty here with some enormous headphones, and I'm here to give you a little guitar lesson on the importance of warming up, and I'm going to show you how I warm up before I dive into a full-on practice routine, and I, I hope that you'll benefit from this, and I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm going to use some index cards because I wrote out a couple little pointers, and of course, I don't have a teleprompter here in my apartment, so uh, please... Bear with me. Um, one thing that, uh, especially if you're a guitarist and you're working on solo arrangements and maybe you take lessons or maybe you're just learning off the internet and YouTube, uh, something that you often need somebody to show, show you is the importance of a warm-up routine. And the warm-up is like the pre-practicing. So when I take the guitar out, I don't just start playing Stevie Wonder and Michael Jackson arrangements. I do some things to kind of ease into playing guitar and reawaken my technique and the feeling of the strings under my fingers. And not only that, but reawaken my musical mind and my sense of musicality. Now, uh, as far as warming up physically, athletes do it, dancers do it, vocalists do it and instrumentalists do it. Um, especially if you've ever seen trumpet or trombone players, they've got to warm up their, their lips and do all this kind of stuff to get loose lips and warm up their... Actually, temperature-wise, warm up their horns so that the pitch is proper. Uh, a basketball team wouldn't go from the locker room and run out on the court and play a full-on basketball game without doing some light warming up light running around, light jump shots to get the mobility in the joints and muscles and tendons and everything flowing. Okay, now I really do this. If you were to ever see me pick a guitar up, uh, especially when I'm on tour, first thing I do in the morning, I get the guitar out of the hotel room and I'm doing the warm up. Pretty much exactly what I'm going to show you. Uh, pretty much exactly. Um, Okay, now it, as I said, it's not only a, a technical exercise. You've got to immerse yourself musically in the meaning behind what this is. And uh, uh, a thing that, a, a mistake that I made for many years was thinking that technique is just something I can get perfect and then I can magically add either feeling, whatever that means, or groove later. And I've sort of where I'm at now uh, in my musical development, I see that you can't really take the, you can't really separate these things so easily. So it's better start off groovy, start off funky, play with rhythm and build your playing around that. I've uh, had a lot more enjoyment in my playing since I've done that. Okay, now if we look at fingerstyle guitar playing or any, any kind of guitar playing or any kind of music playing for that matter, what is it? We're playing an instrument. We're playing notes on the instrument. We're trying to get a good sound and play in time. We'll play with some kind of rhythmic flow. So we're going to do that in our warm-up, only we're going to go slow. And slow doesn't necessarily mean uh, lazy. Uh, slow means we're going to put it right in the pocket and give enough time between notes so that we're letting the fingers wake up. We're going to start with what I call groove scales. And I try, I call them groove scales because they're fun and they're groovy. They're not this tedious idea of, oh, I hate practicing scales. It's not that. Um, here's a way that we can have a very focused little exercise so that we can warm up and pay attention to how we feel rather than trying to tackle a piece of music and all the, all the complications that that involves. Okay, G scale. Three notes of string. I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to use the first finger, the second finger, and the fourth finger of the left hand for the first five strings that we play. So starting on the sixth string, third fret. I'm just showing you very slowly. Third fret, fifth fret, 
7th fret. Same thing on the next string. Now on the 4th string we do 4th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret, then on the 3rd string. When we get to the 2nd string, and this is going to be the last string of, of this scale, we go up to the 5th fret with the 1st finger, and we're going to do 1, 3, 4. Okay. For this exercise, I'm using a flat pick and I'm using all downstrokes. 